Welcome tankers! Cool, I'm here with another look at the tanks you're going to get a chance to play now that Armored Warfare has entered the early access stage of development, what, which is really just an open beta. And in this video we are going to take a look at the Tier 6 Stingray. It gets unlocked directly after the Tier 4 Sheridan. I don't know why there's no tank in the middle, I don't know if they're planning on adding a Tier 5 in between or not, but as of right now it goes straight from the Tier 4 to the Tier 6. And this tank has basically the same gun as the Sheridan. It does roughly 400 to 500 damage per hit, depending on the ammo, but it reloads about twice as fast as the Sheridan. And that would make it sound like the most OP tank in the game, seeing as the Sheridan is just ridiculous. But it's nowhere near as OP as the Sheridan, surprisingly. And that's probably because it's nowhere near as fast as the Sheridan, and it doesn't turn and isn't as maneuverable or agile, although it does come with a fair bit more armor, so you will bounce the occasional shot in this tank, where as the Sheridan you typically won't bounce much at all. <laughs> and you gotta be careful on this map. I have seen battles with 13 players up in A5, <laughs> so the battle seems to split somewhat evenly between uh, a5 and then the city with our team there's no ridge like they have up there so everyone on this side typically is very cautious and goes right down the far right of the map because getting spotted anywhere around where I am now usually gets you killed almost immediately so you'll want to keep cover or a hill somewhere very close to you so that you can escape within seconds because you can count on at least four or five enemy tanks being right up where this guy is. And luckily, he's not gonna move. And unfortunately we don't get the kill, someone gets some split second before us. And I'm not liking where this 10P is, but luckily he isn't peeking up and spotting everyone over here. So I can let him su survive for now, but we're gonna have to worry about him eventually. Oh, and we hit the back of a tank and only track him. Now that was interesting. Did our second shot do no damage but set him on fire? <laughs> and luckily, he has nowhere to go and we'll get the easy kill here. Now, it looks like we've cleared out the ridge except for the 10P over here, so I'm thinking we should go over and kill him, and then I'm going to have to get between... My players, because we're losing badly, and our only hope is to go for the cap, so I'm going to try and get in between them and anyone that could be coming for them, and of course kill this guy first. But luckily I knew where he was, and he didn't know I was coming for him. Now, again, I'm going to try and spot these guys and keep some pressure on them, keep them off our cap for as long as I can, and keep something between my guys and them, so that hopefully they can cap. And unfortunately I don't quite have the gun depression. I can I could either escape there or just pull forward and here I know I'm gonna die pretty soon because again I just want to keep these guys lit as much as I can and keep them keep myself in between them and my guys that are on their cap. So it's a thankless task and I'll probably be dead pretty quick here. And that was the Stingray. 